Welcome, I'm here with Claire Coughlin, manager of Oasis House. Claire, thank you for inviting me. Thank you. I um, I feel privileged to be here because um, it's an organisation that is very dear to my heart and I think the work that you do here is really, really important to our community and you help women, children, families. Talk to me about your services, please. <laughs> Okay, so at the moment we have seven different services. We've expanded a lot in the last few years. So I think everyone is familiar with our accommodation service, which is a crisis service for anybody who finds himself in an emergency and needs to leave home. We also have a 24 hour helpline, and that's normally the first point of call for anybody yes. looking to avail of any of our services. We have a drop in service too. It can be made by appointment or somebody passing by who just wants to come in and talk about the situation can do so. We have TLC Kids, a therapeutic group for children, which was developed in 2016 um, at Oasis House. And um, it's a therapeutic program for children and their mothers, they're separate groups. And it's where children can meet other children of similar ages, similar backgrounds, and through art, um, scientific scientific um um like making volcanoes and um reading books and looking at dvds can work through what they've gone through and it can help move forward as well in their lives and you were saying how important it is for children to interact with other children from i suppose mm -hmm. abusive domestic abuse backgrounds absolutely. it makes them feel like it's not just them absolutely and the children will always say that sometimes they want to sit and listen at the beginning and then they want to start talking and every child will say i thought it was just me i'm glad to know there's somebody else out there and it makes a huge difference in them moving forward and that is that is absolutely key and you were talking to me Claire about your outreach service mm. and the families and women in um, we'd say County Waterford mm. in more remote areas, how you help them and you were telling me a story earlier. Absolutely, so the outreach service is one of our newer services developed in 2018 and the whole I suppose key is that the outreach workers um, can meet women in their own locations particularly the women who are living really, really remotely. So they don't have to come here to us. They might need accommodation, they just need support. So one example is um, we, we prior to the service being established, the outreach service, we had a woman who was a regular caller. She couldn't come in here to meet us because she hadn't the finances because of financial abuse. And there were no buses from where she lived. She was really living very, very remotely. And she was being watched the whole time and it wasn't safe. So she was able to make an odd phone call. And then when the outreach service um, was established, we referred her to it. And the outreach worker was able to go to meet her at a location that suited her, that she knew was safe and was very discreet. And that meant an awful lot of work being done around her safety plan to leave safely, around getting an order, around filling forms with her to help get her, her own finances, to get her on the housing list in her own right. And um, also then eventually when she moved to get counselling for her and play therapy for her children. And she is living, she's moved away from it. She said, it's like she's come out of the most intense fog that she ever came out of. And I think that's what you do here in Oasis House. You provide hope. Yeah. And you were talking about some of the um, women and the children that have left mm -hmm. and in terms of how their lives have been transformed. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I suppose the key in what comes to mind is freedom. They have freedom and you know it's very hard to do it when you're a man parenting and you're living through domestic abuse and you're trying to keep the daily routine going as well so to have someone by your side and we will take it a hundred percent at a woman's own pace and we will wait till she's ready for the next step but we will be there by her side and i think that makes the huge difference is, is not doing it on your own and knowing that you're not on your own. And you were talking about support and going into mm. the courts as well and how important mm. that is. So we have a court accompaniment service and um, we restructured it a couple of years ago. So the court accompaniment worker, if somebody, they don't have to be linked in with us previously, but they want to go and get an order to keep them safe. The court accompaniment worker will do the preparation beforehand, help fill out forms if needed for legal aid, um, meet you at the court on the day. It can be very intimidating when you're sitting across from the person who's perpetrating the abuse. 
So they will be with you every step, sitting with you. If they need to take you to a side room to keep you safe, they will. And they will follow up with you afterwards as okay. well. Um, and, and that's a powerful service, you know, because it is a very stressful mm. um, time. A abuse really isn't just physical abuse. It's, it's not. It's not. There's, there's every type. And I suppose it's a key message to get across. Don't let it put you off making contact with here because you think you're not being physically abused. There's gaslighting and coercive control. I think everyone is hearing more and more in the media now. Yeah. And it's very, very subtle and um, undermining of you, making out you didn't say something when you did, um, saying that your mental, you know, that, that your kids will be taken off you. It's making you feel insecure threatening. and threatening. And you provide a whole service around um, uh, therapy to help the mothers gain their confidence back. Would that be right? Absolutely. So we can refer clients for um, women for counselling and children for play therapy. But also, I suppose, what is key is that we we help to we women feel part of the community. Great. And there's, um, I suppose, a big message as well is that abuse um, is across all socioeconomic backgrounds, no matter you see it, you were saying with guards Absolutely. and farmers. And Absolutely, we have had all um, sorts. We've had nurses, teachers, vanguardi. We have absolutely across the, the, the range, we have had absolutely um, everyone. Yes. from every background so it's not one specific background and i suppose the key message here is no matter if you're watching this and you're going through abuse that you know it doesn't matter what background you're from what nationality you are mm -hmm. whether you have loads of money in the bank and no access to it whatever your situation absolutely. there's help here to waste absolutely itself. everyone's situation is different yeah. and absolutely there is hope out there no matter how difficult it seems that we can help you through it step by step. What I love about Oasis House is the transformation of, of lives. You know, you transform lives. Now down to brass tacks. <laughs> How can people who are watching help, Claire? Well, there's, there's so many ways, you know, and it doesn't always have to be um, a donation, a financial donation either. We always, always can use very basic things like pajamas, toothbrushes, Toothpaste, hairbrushes, new, towels, just to highlight. new, yes. new, if preferable, and um, nappies, toiletries. So you're thinking, if you had to leave the house with no time to pack and no bag, what would you need if you went somewhere? That's what the women and children need here, and and clothes as well. And you're talking, you know, like your sweatpants and and hoodies and t-shirts. Yes. And um, so we're just trying to get them back on their feet. Okay. Um, and I, food. Very important. <laughs> Non-perishable food, non like tins, food. and you were saying noodles and Absolutely things like that. Absolutely, cereals and teas and coffees. And, Great. Well, yeah. we'll put a link up um on this video underneath, so um you know you can um. Uh, check in and with Claire and her team you have a team of 21 you do amazing work and you can ask and um, oh, we can't disclose where the centre is it's here in the city centre for, for safety reasons for the families and um, the playground we're hoping that um, yeah. Rotary we're running a, a, a golf classic in the next couple of weeks and Rotary are going to be donating the funds to assist Fantastic. with um, therapy um, and obviously you'd like more funding to do some work here with the playground. Absolutely, the little toddler area. So as I said, we're, we're open since 1989 and we do need to replace some, some of our um, uh, play centres and that for children as well and make it as child friendly and wel welcoming as we can. So um, money will go directly towards little play centres and climbing frames and things like that for small children as well. Great. Claire, um, I'm in awe of what you do here with your team. Thank you uh, for what you do for our community. We've you. run out of time. There's a link below. If you can help, it would be wonderful. Thank you.